What's good, YouTube? It's your boy JB, Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504, here to welcome y'all back to the showroom. Today's release day, and y'all should already know what uh what's coming out, what came out today. So I'm not gonna bore y'all with none of the detail. But before I get into this nice little in-depth, honest review, as a lot of YouTubers like to call it, because I feel like everybody's trying to say people be lying about shit, but um. We try to keep it 100 around here as much as possible. But before I do that, could y'all please hit that like, comment, and subscribe. But, uh, subscribe button. Ring that bell for that notification. And keep up with your boy on um, all the great content that I try to provide for y'all. But, um, like I said, man, I'm not going to hold up the process at all. I'm just going to get into it. As y'all can see here, we got the Jordan box, as always. And we're going to hit y'all with that style code cool, because I know y'all like when I do that. We got the Air Jordan 13 Retro Black True Red White Style Code 4141571 Color Code 004 Retail is $190 The champ No, this is for the locker pair But, um Let's get into the box Open that Y'all can see You got the white tissue paper As it always will come now, get you out. Ugh. Take both of them out. Bam! Air Jordan 13 Retro Black and Red Bread. Now, I know that the 3M probably is popping on there because the camera light. But uh, let me just, let me, matter of fact, let me just cut this camera light off because I know that, that 3M is probably blinging as y'all can see there. That's better. All right. As y'all can see here, we got the all black, well, black and red colorway people because they the bread. Brief history. This is the, technically, this is the seventh shoe, jo sixth shoe Jordan War in the NBA playoffs leading to a championship. Uh, this shoe was modeled at the uh, a Black Panther, Black Cat. Which MJ nickname was uh name after that's why you have the inspiration for the whiskers coming right here. You got on the back tab, you got that hologram eye that represents his eyes, and also you have this paw like bottom, which also represents the uh Panther's paw. As you can see, it got that premium well that suede that wraps around the whole entire shoe. But I'm gonna start on the bottom edge, and as I said before, you got that panther like paw with the white traction pods on here. You got the black outlining going across on there. You got the black and white carbon fiber. Got it also rolling right here too. Third, third Jordan model to use the carbon fiber. Uh, first being the 11th, then the 12th, then the 13th. Uh, you got that red jewel, jewel jump man right here. And. Stop to the midsole. As you can see, you got the suede wrap midsole right here in red. And also you have that red transition all the way up to the upper part of the shoe. And then on that upper, you got this mesh. You got the mesh light material uh, in black and 3M. You got that toe box right here. Let me slide this back a little bit for y'all. Slide that little back for y'all. Now the leather on here but probably compare it to that uh to the Chicago 13. Let me see. It's about Chicago and uh I say it's a uh, probably because I wore the Chicago's. Like it seems stiffer, but once you wear it, it's gonna eventually break in. Uh but as all like I was saying, you got that toe box with the textured uh Texture tumbler on the upper on the upper of the tongue. You got that suede black suede tongue in black with a red jump man. On the inside, on the inside you got a red jump man as well. And on the medial side, same as the uh, lateral, you got that suede that red suede going right here, going all the way to the bottom. And also the same thing with the three M reflective mesh up here at the top. Um, now, the thing about this shoe is, like, 
it didn't sell out, folks. So if you want to wait until these go on sale, that is all good. That is all good. Y'all really can't do that. Because, like, like everybody knows, Jordan Brand been releasing a lot of pairs. But what's been getting on my nerves with a lot of people, well, not people, just some critics and uh, people with, uh, I want to say somewhat of an influence because I feel like as a YouTuber and as a uh, as a uh, personality, y'all have a certain type of influence. But I just want to let this be known, man. People on YouTube seem to contradict themselves all the time. Like how, like I see a lot of YouTubers say they're unhappy that Jordan Brand is sitting on shelves, but they always the ones that want to come up and get a deal off of sneakers and things like that like it kind of go hand in hand you want you want something to sell out but yet you don't want to pay full price for it everybody wants to feel like they have a connector some kind of uh some kind of plug or whatever the case may be but you gotta understand the consumers are who pays for these products like just because you want to a lot of them want to stop and wait in Wait the things go on sale. There's nothing wrong with that. So how could you get mad that something's not selling out? Like that 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 don't make no sense. And yes, we all know a lot of Jordans are sitting, but at the end of the day, like that's good for everybody. Cause I mean, people they gonna probably drop down to one fifty. Sometimes they drop a little lower than that. And that was the price we were paying on Jordans like just what four five years ago. So I'm just trying to understand the psyche of some people. Like how could y'all? feel like oh this is not a dope shoe if because it didn't sell out but then it'd be like well i'm gonna wait till it go on sale but it had it sold out and you ain't get you a pair you would have been bitching about it i'm just saying man i'm just i'm just speaking that real but a lot of people feel like and i understand a lot of people do have the 2013 pair so be it i mean that that is what it is like if you didn't, if you passed on the shoe because you have a 2013 pair or a very, very good 2004 pair, I can understand you passing on it. The only thing you're paying for is a box at the end of the day. Like if you got two, if you got one of those retros and they still fresh, all you're really doing is paying for a box. Hell, if you still got the 98 pair and it's still fresh, by all means, go ahead and uh, keep that. You could pass. You can pass. Like this could be just what it is. What it is. This could be just your double up. Your one. You keep on ice until you fuck the other one up or whatever the case may be, man. But I'm just tired of people like making comments and contradictory remarks about something. But like everybody was asking, we want pairs. We want pairs. We want pairs. Like it's all good. Once they get y'all the pairs, then y'all just y'all be bitching about that y'all can't do nothing with them. But um, enough about that rant. I wanted to go over a few of these glue stains too, man. Like, you got one here. You got that little glob right there. And also, I got one right here. I mean, the shoe is mass produced. So there's going to be a lot of fucking glue stains on here, man. I'm just being real about it. And I love Joy Brand, but I'm just being real. My, uh... These and not have as many glue stains. Matter of fact, I don't really see none at all on here. To be honest with you, like there's no major glue stains on my on my Chicago 13, but I definitely could see the uh, glue stains on this particular pair. And like I said, man, I have like it is what it is, man. Like I said, you you're getting what you pay for when you're getting the math to do shoot. I'm just saying, but, um, yeah, but as far as, uh, as far as my overall, if you got them, it's a very, 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 uh, sturdy shoe, and another thing, like I said, the 13s, they're a great shoe, I love them, the Heat got games, the playoffs, we all know the, the, the most popular 13, but 13 is probably, like, the least, it's like the 7s, of the Jordan Championship shoes, the sevens and the eights, like the the elevens is just the god of all Jordans, and the the sixes sort of sort of the same, but they're getting bastardized so much because they're producing so many. But um, 
these 13s, like, it's not really a championship shoe. It's a shoe he wore during the playoffs. And he didn't initially win his sixth championship with this. He won it with the 14s when he switched up uh, during that, during uh, what it was, game six, game five, game six. Yeah, I think it was game five. He had switched up and wore the 14s. Oh, uh, game six, it was one of them. But he, when he got on that podium with that MVP, with that MVP uh, trophy, he was wearing 14s. He wasn't wearing the 13s. So, technically, this is not a championship shoe. It was really just what it was, a playoff shoe. But enough about the brief history, man. Uh, if you got the bread 11s, I mean the bread 13s, good for you. Happy, be glad you got them. If you want to wait till they go on sale, hopefully they don't, uh, they don't sell out like some shoes do like before they even hit, hit the sale rack like probably later this week by the end of this week if they're not sold out i hope i hope you still be in luck like when they do initially go on sale but as always man i appreciate y'all for tuning in to the channel didn't mean to let that rant go on too long but uh as always man just stay true stay fly stay blessed like comment and subscribe your boy j baby will be back with another video um and hit y'all with some more content and i will i'm gonna be giving y'all on fever these too so be easy and i'll hit y'all back in the next video you dig